Hello everyone. So it's been quite a while since I've made a book video. Um, I just haven't been really wanting to read lately. I've been reading a lot of literature in class this semester and I just, I kind of just want to read manga a lot of the time or watch Super Sentai. Um, but I, I just don't want to read right now. So, um, but I do have a book haul that I've been accumulating over since basically Christmas. Um, of books. So I have a huge book haul to do right now. And I do eventually want to read all of these. Um, I will read them. But it's just going to take a lot of time and effort. Um, but I'm really, really excited to read them anyway. So the first six books I'm going to talk about were all in one order. Uh, they were all bargain priced books on Amazon. So some of them I don't really even know what they were about. I just kind of grabbed them because they were four dollars. Because you know you do that sometimes. And I might end up selling them at some point, but we'll see. I want to read them. We'll see how I like them. The first one's called Surrender by Sonia Hartnett, and this is a Prince Award book, Prince Award winner. Um, it's basically about this man who's 20 years old named Gabriel, and he is uh, dying right now. He's dying, and he uh, recounts his life um, and, and his relationship with this other guy whose name is Finnegan. Um, I'm not sure, I don't think it's a, a romantic relationship, I think it's just like a friendship story, and I'm assuming, I think something happens between them that he's been hiding for years. I think that's basically what it is, and I kind of just got it because it's a Prince Award book. It was $4, and I actually kind of like the cover, I like that there's a dog on the cover. I think it's a burning house, maybe, or a burning forest behind him. I'm pretty sure it's a house, um, but... Yeah, this was only $4, so I wanted to get it, and I, it looks kind of interesting, so we'll see if I like it at all. I think it's a dual-perspective novel, because, um, it, yeah, it goes between um, Gabriel and Finnegan's perspective, so that's kind of interesting. Then I got Some Girls Are by Courtney Summers. Uh, I've been wanting to read this book for ages, ever since uh, Laura talked about it in, like, 2009 or 2010, um, but I just never picked it up, and I really, really want to um, support more realistic fiction authors, and Courtney Summers is one of them that I wanted to support. Um, this is about bullying uh, in school, um, specifically like, it's it's sort of like Mean Girls, I think, if, from what I'm remembering of the plot. Um, there's like um, texts and emails and just a lot of different things um, <clears throat> involving the story. And I guess it's also about, like, snitching, maybe, and gossip. So we'll see what it's about. Um, I'll, I'll read it and find out. But I've, I've heard it's really good. I think this is Laura's favorite, or at least it was at the time. So that's why I wanted to buy it. Another recommendation I got from Laura was Nearly Gone by El Casimano. And this is a book about a murder mystery. Um, it's basically... Uh, it takes place in the school, and there is a kill serial killer around uh, this in the school that's killing off students left and right, and the main character wants to find out who it is, but she's not sure if it it might be her, maybe? She's not even sure if it's her or not that's doing it. And I've just, I've heard really great things about this from Laura. Um, this is a book that she's recommended to me, and she also recommended to me um, Kim Harrington's books, and let's see, who else? Megan Miranda, uh, Jill Hathaway also, the author of Slide, and um, as I said, Megan Miranda is the author of Fracture, and then Kim Harrington is the author of The Dead and the Buried, which I really want to read, um, and I've also read Clarity by her. So uh, just a lot of different like thriller recommendations from Laura that I really want to read. Uh, this is going to be interesting. It also kind of reminds me of uh, Variant by Robinson Wells, which is a really good book. You, could, you guys are going to need to read that one. That one was really good. I need to read the sequel because the ending of that book had a cliffhanger, and yeah. So, I want to read that one. The next book is Naomi and Eli's No Kiss List by David Levithan and Rachel Cohn, and this is a group, um, I'm not sure, I don't think this is a book of short stories, um, but it is about um, a boy who named Eli and a girl named Naomi, and they basically make this pact to not date anyone, and I'm not sure... Yes, okay. Um, Eli apparently falls in love with her boyfriend, maybe? And stuff happens. So, I don't know. I'll have to read it. I know Melissa's read it and she liked it. So, I, I just I picked it up because it's David Levithan. 
and it was five like four dollars again. So David Levithan, he he can do no wrong. So I had to get it. Then I got another Prince Award book. This is Stolen by Lucy Christopher. I have been meaning to buy this for forever. You have no idea how long I've wanted this book. Um, my friend Leanne loved this book so much, and I wanted to read it. Uh, it's about Stockholm Syndrome. Uh, this girl get, this kid, gets uh, kidnapped by someone, and she falls in love with her kidnapper. And I hear it's heartbreaking, and I just, I want to read it. It looks good. I need to read her other book, too. Um, the Killing Woods, I think it's called. And I think she's going to come up with another book soon. So I need to catch up on all these books, guys. And the last book from that order, which is really, really exciting, is uh, Money Boy by Paul Yee. And this is a book about a boy whose name is Ray Liu. And Ray lives in, I believe, New York? I forget. Oh, crap. No, Toronto. He lives in Canada. And he is an immigrant from, I believe... I don't know. I know he's Asian, but I'm not sure what ethnicity he is exactly. He's an immigrant, um, and he basically comes out to his father, and his father kicks him out of the house, and he has to survive on the streets in Canada, and, and he wants to go to Toronto, I guess. Um, that's where he ends up, is in downtown Toronto. So, sounds really, really good. It's incredibly tiny for a, um, for a hardcover book. This was like, I believe, $9 or something? Really cheap for a hardcover, and... I just really, really wanted to read it. It's one of those books that I've always wanted to read. I've heard a lot about it, so I really want to read it. I love this cover, too. It wraps around, and it's all pretty and shiny, and you can see the boys in the background. So I'm always looking for good LGBT literature, so I had to pick it up. Speaking of LGBT literature, a good segue, I have Hold Me Closer, The Tiny Cooper Story, a musical novel by David Levithan. And I love this book so much, guys. I've already read half of it, and then I had to do stuff for class, so I haven't finished it yet. But it's a really, really quick read. This is the musical um, that Tiny Cooper writes, and it's it's brilliant. It's fantastic. Of course David Levithan would write this. He's absolutely amazing. And I love it. Um, I actually can only read this book by singing the lyrics for the songs in it. That's how I read it, because it's a musical. You have to listen to it. So I just sing it to myself. Um, and that's been so much fun. And I just, I love this book. I love the, how the cover actually has the title, like a, like a, oh, what do you call it? Not, what is it? Um, postscript? What is it called? A script. Whatever. The script of a play. Playbook, I guess. And um, it also has on the back, the end which is just fantastic. I think that's a great aesthetic detail to add to the book. And I just love it. I also love how the cover... I'll show you in a second. I also like that the book is actually a playbook. Like, you see the little crease there. It's like an actual bound playbook. You can actually see the, um, the, like... What do you call them? These things that hold the book together, you know. I can't think of what those are called. But, yeah, it's just a really, really beautiful book. I really recommend this one if you haven't read it yet. Uh, it's the companion novel to um, Will Grayson, Will Grayson. So you should read that one first and then read this one. This one's brilliant. It's amazing. Then when I went to visit Brit, uh, we went to Half Price Books. And I went... I'm really, really excited that I got to go to see Half Price Books because I've never been there. Um, but I got uh, The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian by Sherman Alexie. And this is an author that I've been really, really interested in. I've read a lot of his poetry this year. And I am so excited to read this one. And this is about a boy that grows up on a reservation, and I believe he goes to high school, maybe? Um, he, he lives in Spokane. His name's Junior. And I've just heard a lot of great things about it. It's got a lot of pictures and comics that the character draws, which is really, really cool. Um, just random doodles that he does. Here's a unicorn. That's kind of cute. Um, and it's just... I've heard such great things about it. It's a National Book Award winner, so it's, it's really, really highly acclaimed. Uh, this copy's a little dirty, though, so maybe I shouldn't have bought it secondhand. But oh well, I, I got it for a really good price. It was, like, half price. So, yeah, $7.49. Really good. I really want to read this. All right, and then something else really, really exciting. I actually started doing the um, Uppercase Box, which is a, um, what is it called? It's like a monthly subscription box. This is what I got. Um, it's for Uppercase.com, um, and this is, like... 
It's like a monthly subscription that they send you a book every month. I learned about it from Christina Horner's channel. I watch her a lot. And I really wanted to get one. So they sent me The Start of you and, of Me and You by Emery Lord, which is really, really funny because I bought this for Melissa for her birthday. Or for Christmas? Oh no, Easter, Easter. Sorry. There's so many reasons to buy books. I don't even really pay attention to that. I just want to buy her a book. My cat decided to say hi because he can't say no to a closed door, obviously. I actually haven't seen him all day, so it's it, this is important. Anyway, so the start of you with me, it's about a girl named um, Paige, and there's a cat here everywhere, oh my gosh, um, Paige, and her boyfriend recently died in a swimming accident, and uh, this book is about um, moving on. Um, she meets another guy, I believe, that kind of teaches her to just start over and move on in life. I'm not sure if they fall in love or if they're just friends. Oh no, it's just, okay. So, it's her cousin Max. So her cousin teaches her to move on in life. So that just sounds really, really nice. And I really want to read it. I hope that Melissa likes it because I got it for her for Easter. So, very excited to read this one. Okay, and then the last four books I got are all um, LGBT literature books. And one of them is actually a classic. So that's really interesting. Uh, I'll, I'll save that one for last, but I'm going to start with uh, this one called Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, and this one is by um, Becky Albertalli, and this is a book about a boy who, um, he is, um, he, he's out to, I believe, his parents, but he's not out at school. He's very kind of reserved. He's 16, and he prefers... Um, he, he tries to save all of the drama in life to the musicals that he produces, that he does. And, um, a boy blackmails him, named, the boy's name is Martin. Um, he blackmails Simon, um, saying that if he doesn't help him find a, a date for the prom, then he'll, um, tell everyone at school that he's gay. And so it's about their relationship and, <laughs> um... I've heard really, really amazing things about this book. Um, Melissa read it recently, and she loved it, so I cannot wait to read it. There's quotes on the back from Alex Sanchez, which is extremely exciting for me, because I love Alex. He is amazing. And I also love that in the dust jacket, it says that um, Becky is... Uh, what is it? She's the co-leader of a support group for gender non-conforming children in Washington, D.C., which is just incredible. I think that Becky is an amazing person. I cannot wait to read this book. It looks just amazing, and I just, I need to read it. The next book I got is called None of the Above by I.W. Gregorio. Um, I saw this book in Melissa's Hall, and this is about a girl named Kristen, who I believe, um, she, she's a, well, she's not a she. She is a... Um, none of the above. She's intersexual, I believe is the term for it, and, um, it's just about the fact that intersexual people exist, and I've never read a book like this before, ever, and I think that's absolutely fantastic that it's not written, and I really, really respect the author. She just sounds like a really great lady, um, and she's also the founding member of the We Need Diverse Books team, which I'm really interested in finding out more about because I agree with that statement. We definitely need more diverse books in our culture just so we can be more accepting of people. And, I mean, not even just in the sexual identity or gender identity sense, but also with racism and sexism and ageism and all of that. Um, we just, we need to be more accepting people and accepting humans. And I think literature is a great way to discuss um, things and get a conversation going. So this sounds just really interesting, and I've never read a book like this before, so my hat's off to um, Gregorio because you are amazing. The next book I got, which is one that I've been meaning to get forever, forever, ever, ever, it's called Openly Straight by Bill Konigsberg. Konigsberg. I am so sorry. Konigsberg. I don't know. I'm sorry. I have a, I have a last name that's kind of hard to pronounce too, so I sympathize. Um, this is about a boy named Rafe, 
I believe that's how you pronounce it. I don't think it's pronounced Rafe. I think it's pronounced Rafe. And he is um, just starting high school. And he's been out for a few years now, um, but he's starting at a new school. And it's about him continuing to, to accept his sexuality. And I believe, actually no, he becomes openly straight instead. Um, and I guess he gets a lot of new friends. Um, and tries to live life without a label. That's basically the point of this book. And it sounds really, really intriguing. I want to find out more about it. Um, I will definitely let you know how what I think about it once I read it. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I see my dog right under the doorway. And now Jake's going to the doorway to just mess with him. That's funny. Anyway, I just thought this was really, really intriguing. An intriguing idea. So I'm really excited to figure out what's going on with this book. The only thing I don't like is that it's a scholastic book, so the paperback does this. Like, I can't open the book. Like, I, I don't like this at all. I hate it. And, um, but Stolen, Lucy Christopher is also like that. It's just the way that they do the binding or something, or the paper is, like, thicker or thinner or something. I mean, I love Scholastic because of the Scholastic book fairs and all that, but I just don't like this quality. I hate it. Ugh. Anyway, the final book, finally, in this haul is called Maurice by E.M. Forster, and this is a classic um, British literature novel. It was originally written in 1913, or between um, 1913 and 1914. That's when it was written, and it later got revised. Um, in 1960, and then finally published after her, the author's death in 1971. And this is about uh, two boys that go to Cambridge University, and one of them um, is, is learning about sex, and just, he's learning to become a man, and he realizes that he is a homosexual. And I believe he, he falls in love with the other boy, whose name, uh, I don't remember his name, Clive? Maybe his name's Clive? Maurice and Clive? Yes. Maurice and Clive. And um, I, I heard about this book from my friend who was in my literature class with me. We all had to pick a book for literature class. You saw it was probably one of my earlier videos. I'm not sure which one it was, but it was the uh, video I did on um, the, oh my gosh, The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. And she did her report on um, Maurice, which is really, really interesting. I didn't even know this existed. Um, but this is just a, a story about being yourself and being happy. And really that happiness is the, its keynote. Um, and he's trying, basically the author wrote this book to kind of write himself if he were openly gay and happy with his life because he was a very sad person in real life. Um, he was the author of A Room with a View, Howard's End, and A Passage to India. And I just, I'm really, really intrigued with this book. I already read the first chapter, and it's very, very interesting. Um, just an interesting, like, uh, piece about being yourself and homosexuality and the fear of being gay in a society that doesn't want you. Because at this time, in England, being gay is illegal. Um, and I, it's just, it's so interesting. I'm so excited to read this. I, I need to read it right now. I, I really, really do. Um, I'm just, I'm so interested, and I want to read his other books, because I hear his other books are very complex and very different, and I like that, so I cannot wait to read this book. This is the first book I'm going to read. I'm going to probably read this, like, literally this week, maybe. 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 We'll see what happens. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, I got um, a few other things in the Double Day package. I got this quote, which is perfect for me. It's called, when it all closes in, there are only two kinds of people, best friends and everyone else. And this is basically my philosophy on life, a little bit, a little bit of my philosophy on life, because everyone who is my friend is basically my best friend. So shout out to you guys. I love you guys. You're awesome. And it also came with a couple of other magnets, um, or this is a pin called I Heart Max Watson. I don't know if you can even see that. That's the character in, um, the start of You and Me. Um, I got this in that Double Day box, or that, um, 
that book box. I forget what it's called. Um, and then there's these magnets that are all about books and writing. There's a little typewriter and unplug, and it's just, it's really, really cute. So I'm very happy to have this. And I'm really excited about um, the um, uppercase box. Uppercase. I gotta remember what it's called. But um, I would definitely recommend you guys check it out and subscribe to it if you want. So I'll leave, I'll probably try my best to leave a link in the description where you can sign up. Because it's really, really an intriguing thing. And they even send you a personal letter uh, from the people that work there um, talking about the book that you get. And that's just really, really, really awesome. So promote, promoting literature and promoting books. And that's just great. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I am going to go read now, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye. My kitty hates to be held, but he wants to say goodbye. So goodbye.